I'm a full-time jerk with aspirations of fame Gotta get that milk and honey, I ain't playing your game Am I speaking insane? Drugs peaking your brain? You can call me the tow truck, I'm just pulling your chain You don't have to twist my arm, I'm ready and willing To show these part-time poets how to sew the skilling And it's so revealing, you just open your eyes You see, there's a mass murderer killing Mike's surprise It's me, serenity, what I get from these rhymes The pen and paper help me out of the hardest of times And out of the verse that climbs, the little nugget that shines The crowd out there, hit the snare and it blinds Let me spell it out for you, these people can't see These people can't move, these people ain't free These people are puppets, moved by the industry Got a hand up the rest, now just read the screen It's a little bumpy, but it's not that bad. Super Hentai was grooving, uh, reenacting oh, his dance off with Premature cool. ejaculation there. Sorry, guys. Wait, there's another one coming up here. Let's see what we this need, is. We need to get something to dance to, Nick. Come back in. Hentai is prematurely ejaculated. <laughs> <laughs> get excited, What the fuck man. is going on here? I'm bumping. Hey, hey, hey. I'm searching the sky, well here's my alibi I met this girl in a dream over I wonder if I realized Or did it happen at all? I'm gonna try to think Sweeney But I remember Sweeney it shit. In the vision I saw It was written like a note To remind me why I'm tripping Stop spitting The beat goes and I start spinning Feeling trapped thick Like I'm pinned in Tractor beam vision If she would speak I would listen But I haven't heard a word And I'm still being lord Everything is written out And laid flat on the floor It doesn't matter anymore She's a fix for my thick skin Where everybody's falling out She sticks in I'm banging on the glass Trying to get her attention And affection With some type of sight connection Not moving in the right direction Night's running out Sight she's not around Back to the ground There you go It's the Super Hentai Dance Party on uh, your $20 a month platinum edition of the rest of uh, Keep in mind, I'm very different out of the ring than oh, I am in the ring. Like, she, you, you I don't see that shit. I don't again. know if she's a wrestling fan, but he's going to love that video. I'm going to get a music video. I'm, I'm sending that to him tonight. Like, dude, check this out. <laughs> And if you have music out there that's pretty decent and want a professional wrestler to dance to it, <laughs> send it in. Let's see what we can do. You know? Wow. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Some dirty dancing, get Jimmy D to dance to it. I had no. the time of my life. Absolutely no. not. No. Please no. Absolutely <laughs> not. No. Please no. Please no. I've seen him dance. dance. <laughs> I've seen him dance. I've seen him I'm warning you. Okay. If you That's enjoy right. it. <laughs> Enjoy everything where it's at right now. What would he attempt to do with the owl? Oh, is, God. The, is the question. What wouldn't he attempt to do with the owl, sir? <laughs> that, that's the true question. It would be easier to answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jimmy D, you keep your dick out of our owl. Wow. Well, he was here with the owl. Yeah. Right? Did he notice? He was it? distracted by sword. Oh, true. true. Yeah, he was <laughs> more <laughs> infatuated with me. While our chat room was uh, uh, occupied with Vicky's boobs. Yeah. That's true. And called yeah, a boob girl all night. Yeah. Was like, Who's everybody is. On? Yeah, everybody's infatuated with Vicky's boobs. She actually, um, <laughs> without realizing it, she tried to read the chat room over Sork's shoulder. Oh, really? And, you know, she, like, leaned over, into over the, and right into the camera. And we were all oh. like, um, no, don't do that. Exploded. The chat room oh, was like, yeah. rewind. <laughs> we, we got like 20 uh, viewers right there. <laughs> with that rack exploding. I don't have low cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking... <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> I'm Vicky <laughs> Look at my rack. Look at my rack. Look at it. Look. Look. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking 
Bean Bean has. I do everything I can to take a jab at him whenever I can. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah, Mike says Hentai is my new favorite guest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a, I've been a hentai fan for a long time. This is why. <laughs> this is David C. This yeah. guy. I was when you're climbing up on the ladder against Troy Lawrence. He has man standing. I'm standing on my feet, screaming Ace is high, Ace is high. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking God keep both feet on this ladder. <laughs> go right up on the floor. I'm grabbing the person next to me, going, Oh my God, they're gonna die. I really thought we were going to the floor, and I'm screaming Ace is high. Ace is high. I mean, actually, let's talk about that. You had, well, these guys, their first show was was that November Pain two, mm -hmm. uh, in two thousand six. November two thousand six, uh, where you had a big uh, big match with Troy Lords, a uh, last man standing, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where a lot of uh, hard work got involved. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about it a little bit before the show. Um, uh, one big thing, aside from the ladders and the sick. Falls and everything was the the power slam off of the Ooh. ring aprons. Yeah. That was man. Did you feel <laughs> with that a side <laughs> impact through him? Yeah, with that a sucked of Troy Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not have wanted to get put up and in, in that move in any capacity. No, that Fuck that. Now it was his idea. Um. Yeah, it was my idea because I want to win the match, sort. I want to win a match. Why would and I be I will, I will idea? Do, yeah, I will do anything short of killing you to win a match. I yeah, will. he was like, I'm gonna fucking run his back yeah. through the concrete. That's why I don't ever look happy in that ring because I'm not. I'm there. I mean business. I even though I'm wearing a mask, I. A lot of people will say you never smile. This and that. Yeah, it's because I'm not there to f make friends. I respect a lot of guys in the back. But I'm not there to make friends. And if I feel that, you know what, I think this move's going to let me win this match, make me win this match, then I'm going to do it. And uh, that's why I figured that I would do that to to uh, a young strapping Troy Lords. <laughs> 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 that's just like the tombstone on the bleachers. Same yeah, deal. The, the splat uh, off that power slam. It was really a splat. splat. It was more... It, it was, was just a sickening thud. Thud, thud. Yeah. I thought I heard a crunch. Um, <laughs> mm hmm it's very possible. He was he was out for was. till the January show. He was out till the January yeah. show. Legit, um, Norm Norm Connors actually, and this is I'm not like this isn't a joke. In, in, on the December show, Norm Connors notified everybody in the locker room. Sure, Lords, he's actually he's hurt. He was actually in the hospital for some days after oh, that match. He was in the hospital. Um, uh, I don't know the severity of the of his ribs rib injuries, but he actually had rib injuries. He was actually in the hospital, and he was doing therapy from the. Uh, it was, I think, I'm gonna say it was a week or two after that match till the January show mm -hmm. when he came back. That's why he wasn't on the next show because yeah. I put him out. Like I said, I'm looking to win a match, and if there's a, a heated rivalry like that going on, and. Uh, Fuck you. I'm going to do whatever I can. Like I said, it's short of shooting you. I'm going to do what I can to win that match. So, yeah, that I did feel that power slam, to say the least. Yeah. It rumbled through his belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That was, you mentioned the thud. It was a thud comparable to uh, Shima Zion at Super Indy 4 when he completely missed and just hit the wood floor at uh, oh, yeah. at the Palisades. Yeah. Yeah. When <laughs> Maverick didn't catch him and just mm -hmm. thought. Or even, <laughs> even uh, Justin <laughs> Idol at uh, Super... Er, Call the uh, arms. arms. Call the Arms, when yeah. He missed. <laughs> when it was like eight up. guys and they all just missed him. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Didn't land on any of them. That's why yeah. they call it high risk. You know, these people, they want to learn all these high-flying moves just to like... Be flashier. They saw it on video again. That's not getting your training. Yeah. That's then. I mean, they don't even realize the the shit that could happen, the consequences that could mm -hmm. take place. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. do you do you do any? I don't know. Like, I can't think right now if I've seen you like doing like moon salts or anything. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It, yeah. You know what? It, it has to be a uh, high profile it, title match. Okay. Will make me bust that shit mm -hmm. out. Uh, uh, a really intense feud. I didn't bust them out in in that last man standing match because yeah. one, I had a different mind frame back in, uh, and two, the um, <clears throat> the more methodical approach means less of that stuff. Mm 
I, it, at the time, it was more effective for me to choke you or, or hurt you, such as a, the, like at Power Slam, yeah. to do mm-hmm. something like that rather than do uh, a, a moonsault right. to the floor or a dive or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So um, I'll pull them out here and there. I will. I'll st- it, like I said, high-profile matches, yeah. I'll do it. But um, I've learned over the years to conserve and save because if you don't, the shelf life of a wrestler isn't long to begin with. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna make it any shorter than what it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. See, the reason I ask is it always this drives me crazy. How do you try that for the first time, and not know that like you're gonna break your neck? Yeah. Like I could never, <laughs> like I couldn't imagine just going up there and being like, all right, I'm gonna try and move on. <laughs> um, you have it a lot of support yeah. behind you, a lot of training mats, mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, <laughs> if you're lucky, it's in the summertime, so you have a swimming pool to try it into. Okay. <laughs> so that's the that's <laughs> usually the the, that's the formula. Yeah. yeah, that's the safety well, net of choice. Is a that's like uh, I, yeah. I I think we saw on, on uh, tough enough that when they were. Doing right. They towards the end. Mats. Yeah, the crash pad. Yeah, so. it's key. Yeah, I remember when uh, Joey Matthews he couldn't do it. Or not Joey Matthews. Josh Matthews couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. He was the Al Snow imitator. Yeah. He couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't <laughs> do it. And even when they pulled the mat away, he couldn't land it. And then finally he did, and that was like the feel good episode. <laughs> yeah, he finally, he finally hit the moon song. You heard the the music from Little House of the Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Them running through that fucking field. Or whatever. <laughs> Um, uh, we have some, uh, well, actually, before we get to the questions, chat room, I have one, uh, was you talking about the, the high-risk maneuvers and everything, uh, Justin Idol last week was talking about how, uh, he used to do crazy shit and, uh, has lightened up a bit because he's been in for a while and everything, uh, were, did you do a lot more of the crazy high-risk maneuvers, you know, back when you started compared to now, uh, how, how has that tapered off, is that part of your mindset that's changed? Um, I, to answer the first part, yeah, I did a whole bunch, as in... That's the match. I want to win it. That's all. That's that's what I want. So I would do the most ridiculous shit. Uh, I here's one great example. This is before I hurt myself. Now, mm-hmm. one great example. I used to wrestle Devil. We had a feud that carried on for a whole year, all over the place. Mm-hmm. We were in Ohio. We were in Columbus, Ohio, on uh, on uh, the campus of uh, the fuck's that college. State? Thank you. We were on that campus <laughs> of Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> or Ohio. Or Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Yeah, that campus. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's State and shit. Well, that's so what I thought I mean, you were like referring to. Yeah. I'm like, no. I'm going to say Ohio, but I'm probably going to be wrong. No, you're looking right like on. I'm <laughs> the fucking gay. Oh, I didn't know there was a I was going to say the wrong in Columbus or elsewhere. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, we were on that campus. We wrestled in this place. Long story short, I jumped out of a 25-foot balcony to get the win. And I still fucking lost. I still Uh-oh. lost that guy. <laughs> but I jumped out of a 25-foot balcony, and the ring was uh, right underneath the balcony. It was about six to eight foot out, so I had to jump out. So oh, I did my best uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat impersonation of the crossbody and uh, just jumped as far as I could. But, yeah, needless to say... My mind frame back in, young guys that jump around, that do high spots, they are, they, they're so anxious to get in the ring, that's mm-hmm. what they build their match up to. When they don't realize that there's so many other elements, that that's such a small part, that's no different than an arm drag or a drop kick. It's all where you place the shit. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I've had my share of injuries where I just didn't want to, you know what, your body just hurts, It just you just don't want to deal with it anymore, you don't want to... You j- it just hurts. It hurts to get up and go to work or get a bath or I should say a shower. I get showers, my man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fucking yes. yes. bath. Or get a shower or do your laundry, <laughs> going up and down them steps, even getting in the car to drive. That shit hurts and it hurts bad. And the reality is the older you're getting, it's so cliche, but I mean it takes you longer to get to overcome them injuries. And then you just find different ways to still keep the crowd interested. Mm-hmm keep the card strong and with doing a lot less stuff like I said save it for more high profile stuff and you're, you know so yeah I mean and Justin has had his share of injuries a lot of them and mm-hmm. he is and he's a phenomenal wrestler and uh, I, I just I can't speak highly enough about him he's he's a really really good wrestler so. I've always been impressed in really anything he's gotten into mm-hmm. I've seen him mm-hmm. I think once down with what's, se- what's the seemingly defunct CWF now and I've seen him down there a couple times, and even in that setting, he was phenomenal in there. Gives it his all. Mm-hmm. Gives it his all. But yeah, yeah. So, 
You'll find a lot of high flyers saying the same thing. So. Um, nosebleed in the chat room asks your thoughts on giving uh, Jimmy D a German suplex to the floor at the Devil Buddha, uh, the Devil <laughs> Memorial show. That's at the end when everything was everything went fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what was going on at the end of that show. I had all intentions of giving that to him anyway. I didn't give a fuck who was on the floor. No one, no one was going to catch us. The fucking hardwood floor was yeah. going to catch us. That was what was going to catch us. I had no... Because what led into that? I don't even remember like... What it was, was a zoo. Again, it goes back to them Gambinos. Them assholes <laughs> had to be cute. They had to come out. Now, that's a charity show for the guy I was very close with. And my trainer, same way, we're in that ring together. And here they come out. They have to start their shit. Because <clears throat> they have to show, you know, their dominance in, in, in the area. And that's what turned into basically just mayhem. Yeah, like I think the whole lo uh, locker room emptied, and it was just the the a poor big fellow ball. in front of me. His, his figure, his action figures he won in the uh, in the uh, in the raffle were smashed by about like five guys. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was chaos. autographed and everything. <laughs> but that German suplex, that was uh, yeah. You know what? There's just some moves I still want to do. I still have a checklist in wrestling and. German suplex off the top was one of them. <laughs> Figured who, who better than Jimmy D? That's what he shut his, out his notebook and was like German suplex off the top. Check. That's it. Check. <laughs> Tear my leg to shreds. Check. <laughs> Staples. Check. And uh, and Bronca asked uh, hell thoughts on the uh, uh, devil devil period and how you uh, thought the memorial show went overall. And this was of course was back in March. Oh, how I how I feel how it, it went just as a whole. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I thought it went really well. I thought it moved smooth. <laughs> I thought it moved smooth, and you know what? I don't. I, I I'm telling you, if you, <laughs> I was going to give, I, I was going to give Mickey Gambino, Holly Fury, my double knees, Anthrax song, 1980s band, <laughs> heavy metal. Anyway, I was going to give him Holly Fury, and I know the devil pushed my fucking leg. And I fell flat on my back. Oh, head. The, uh, and that shit hurt so bad. I remember that. I was concussed greatly. I got <laughs> fucked up from that German suplex to begin with. The back of my head hit someone's face. And then Jimmy was always the kidder. He to take my leg out. And I know it. Because so many people said it looked like your leg kicked out. Like someone actually yeah. pushed it. That was him. And he was an asshole, I guess. That's why we got along <laughs> so great. So I loved him. But outside of that. <laughs> Outside of me looking like a goof. I remember you laying on the mat, like somebody stuck a microphone in your face <laughs> so you could tell everybody thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm like, give me that microphone. I'm going to I'm gonna pull this shit off like Onita in Japan. I'm going to cut these promos <laughs> on my back. But I thought that, not, not to stray from the topic, I thought, the, I thought the, the whole show went well. I thought it ran smooth. The guys really brought their A game the best they could. Um... And they really made a good effort. And the crowd, you know what? I can't, I cannot thank the crowd enough. You guys for coming. I can't thank all you guys for coming and coming out for a great cause. I mean, there was twelve feet of snow out, and you guys, it, it, you looked at that that gym, and it looked as if there was no snow out there. It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I cannot thank you guys enough. And I know that his family, if they could, they they couldn't thank you guys enough either. And everyone in that chat room. For coming out, it was it, it was, was a great thing. cause. Like I would, I was going to that show through thick or thin. I fought with my parents. I fought with everybody telling me that I shouldn't be out driving, and let alone driving to Homestead and <laughs> everything else for the show. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I got a rental car. What do right. I care? <laughs> exactly. It has insurance. I'm gonna go wherever I want to go. <laughs> yeah, and I I cannot thank you enough, everybody. So. But yeah, it was it was a really good show. I enjoyed it, and I had a good time. Who did you cheer for, Dennis Gregory or Crusher Hanson? Oh. I tell you, me and Dennis, we've had our differences in that ring. We still have our differences, especially after the shenanigans he pulled last summer on me. Um, but uh, I was, I, God, I know Crusher. I've I've worked with him for a long time. I've known him. I I'm, I like him a lot. But I had to, I had to keep my faithful, to keep my IWC faithful, and, and, and get one for the Gipper. <laughs> I fucking hope that Dennis came out on top in that match. So it was a reluctant cheer, but it was you know that's who I was favoring. Yeah. yeah, I know we we kept the bump chant strong, so <laughs> we brought it back, and we we weren't going to, we really weren't, because we realized his family was there, and we kind of started to feel bad that Dennis. But I know then Chuck Roberts turned up and Chuck said, Roberts, "Come on, Chuck Roberts is like, you guys gonna get that bump thing going? Come on, you guys better get that bump thing. Going. <laughs> Gotta listen to Chuck then." 
but yeah. <laughs> Good times. I, I, I have personal beef with Chuck Roberts. Well, not so much beef, but the sexual harassment that I get put through from Chuck Roberts. <laughs> he, uh, he like, yeah, you're his whipping boy. He likes I, to I, I, I see this. He likes to target you. Right? <laughs> I, I think it's because everybody else targets him. So he Probably. To, like, I get... He's passing off the house. <laughs> yeah. I get yeah. the buck passed on to me, then. Like, every time I see Chuck, he slaps my ass. Yeah. You are the smallest of us. Yeah, I am. So, so you the target. I guess. <laughs> other than Missy, you know. Yeah, but she's a girl, so like that's, that, that's <laughs> lawsuits. <there. laughs> that's the other side. That's There's Megan's a, law or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that young. I'm not like. I was going to move over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't want my arm hair touching her. That might be her ass. Right? <laughs> like, crazy. But I, uh, I also had Chuck Roberts chop me uh, out one time for for no apparent reason. This is at a club. I walk up. Chuck Roberts is sitting there, and he kind of gives me a sideways glance and just looks at me. And I go, "How's it going, Chuck?" And he goes, "Eh." He grabs my arm, <laughs> puts it behind my back, lifts my chin up, and then chops me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "That's awesome." And I just stop there and look, and I just and I go, "Okay." And then he grabs my arm and proceeds to do the whole thing again. <laughs> and then he pats me on the shoulder and then turns around like it never happened. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell is going on? Chuck is... You just got sexually harassed, that's what happened. Chuck loves his Ricky Flair. <laughs> so he loves the backdrop. And he loves that chop. But let me tell you something about Chuck. And I'm telling everybody out there in Internet land, I'm telling everybody right now, I know it's this is going to sound funny, because Chuck, look at Chuck. Uh -huh. Nice, very business, very yeah. professional. <laughs> Looks like that, you know, you might be able to rough him up, this and that. Mm -hmm. That fucker knows his shit. He is like profound. I'm sure he won't mind me saying it. He's like profound in like Taekwondo <laughs> and Jiu Jitsu. This motherfucker is. There's more to him that meets the eye. I swear to God, I'm not kidding. So I don't care what he right says. Right now, right now, it is going. Chuck Roberts is a transformer. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that guy knows his shit, but he will never pull it out. He will always play dumb to it, because I mean that's what he was taught. But he's been in that shit for years, and I'm telling you, do not let him fool you. If you try to actually actually mess with Chuck Roberts, he's gonna have your fingers. Tickling your brain somehow <laughs> with his shoes. He, I don't know. He is a wild man. He's I. I mean, he's he, he really does know his shit. So if anybody was thinking of picking on him and you don't know him very well, don't do it. Just trust me. Do not do it. <laughs> no no notes. Don't. Um, do not retaliate. <laughs> upon show. Okay, right under. Yes. Right, right under. In the book of mayhem. Tights. Right. Yeah. Under, right yeah. Under. <laughs> Tights equal um, dehydration. We we have a sp uh, guest in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he says he's going to put uh, his foot up Hentai's ass when he gets back from Japan. My ass when I get back yeah. from Japan. Yeah. And he gets oh, back when back. he gets back from Japan, yeah, it can only be back. one or two people. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris Maverick. It's, uh -huh. wait, wait, it's, it's the one that doesn't wear sandals. It's Dustin Ardeen. <laughs> <laughs> The one that doesn't wear mandals. Wow. <laughs> Fucking Marshall. And Mickey said. Bull Mickey Gimby sent me now. a message after last week's show and said he's going to come in and address the sandals in person. I step on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. And Marshall, oh, pal. You know what? Let me see what you're writing. Oh, I like to tell stories. That's a crock of shit, pal. You know what? You need to talk to Jimmy D if you're going to talk to anybody, because he was right there agreeing with me. What else are you writing? Yeah, nothing much, you fuck. Put your, you know what, pal? I'm telling you, you're gonna be so. You're gonna get worked. At, you guys are gonna definitely make a name. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna definitely make a name for yourself in Japan. But when you get back, you ain't putting a foot up anybody's ass, pal. <laughs> I know. I know you're on that ladder. Those are your eyes searing in that one night, you weirdo, looking at me sleep. And I don't know if he wanted to kill me or molester me. I don't know. I don't know what he's got in them fucking cargo pants that he wears and shows before he changes. The guy's a wild man. He's a maniac. And if you get him pissed off enough, he'll push your house right over the hill. <laughs> well, I'm that's the mobile you. home court. All you gotta do is like flatten the half the tires, <laughs> flatten the one side of the tires, and it'll just roll on its own. This fucker is looking to be at my house, and you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt want, it. He came to the training see, If you want to see creepy pictures, look at the okay. new Gambino's photo shoot. Yeah. I saw that. 
<laughs> you got that over there? It, it's, it's, it's on, on, it's on, on Mickey Gambino's MySpace. It's on. I, a couple of them had them up on there. It, it's on yeah. the regular Gambinos, just like the Gambino. Oh, I just saw it on Mickey's the other day. Does she have all of them on hers? Mickey has they all have, of them on oh, hers. Mickey has all of them on yeah. his yeah. My computer. The, okay, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. With the Spiffy logo behind them. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, and it's yeah, I just say it's a little creepy. Done by I think it's Chris Maverick Photography. Mm-hmm. Tell you, Marshall. I love the ruffle, Marshall's feather. I know it gets him pissed, and what are you gonna do? You can't do anything. You're behind a keyboard, some weirdo. <laughs> like Call in. the internet. Yeah. Come on, pal. I thought we made our statement. If he wants to call in, ago. give him my phone number. <laughs> give me the number. Give him the number, or your number, or something. <clears throat> I don't know how well those iPhones work with the. They actually work pretty damn good. Well, then um, why are you using it? Somebody didn't call so me. Much that would be my phone, probably. <laughs> I was That's like, it's me. not me this time. Mine's He's calling you. Back. I shut I the egg <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm not answering. Somebody's vibrator. That's yeah. me. Okay. He's got the remote. I'm working on it. Phil, Phil. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, tell me. What, yeah. Have, you said you started in 1998. Have you, has the mask always been a part of it? Yes. Okay. Yep. Since day one. Uh, always. Part two of that question, then. Why mask? Scars. <laughs> that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, did the scars happen before or after the? He was burned in a fire by Paul Bear. Well, <laughs> 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 I uh, <clears throat> upon my uh, upon my my training, like my completing my training, like mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. one. I guess you could say, surely no. Like I said, knows a lot of Japanese guys. He knows he knows a lot of people. A lot more than what people think. He actually. Would have people, uh, some guys come over. Some guys come over. They would train, uh, come in, just do nothing big, but just little seminars here and there. I mean, they actually, they actually helped him with giving me my name. So with that, um, they knew how much respect I had for the Japanese, the Mexican wrestling, and how much I respected the the uh, the masked wrestlers and whatnot. And just and just my idol was. Not Justin, but great, uh, mm -hmm. great Sasuke, and so they saw how much that meant to me. So they 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 donned donned the idea of wearing a mask, and I was just ecstatic because that's that's an honor to get to, to wear a mask to say that you mm -hmm. can wear this. That that means something, and a, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. A lot of people in America don't know that. So I uh, I figured, yeah, man, this is as good a time as ever. Let's do this. So. Yeah, I have it ever since, and I plan on retiring with it. So, now, how long did you wrestle before you you donned the mask? That was the uh, question we just. Oh, right did we, did we do that part? Yeah. yeah, right out the gate. Right, right out, out the, the gate. gate. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you, your mask, you're probably not going to be able to find them at like a Hot Topic or whatever, because I assumed all your masks are custom made. <laughs> yeah. What what is it? What what goes into getting a custom made mask, or like, how much do you put into make getting one custom made or whatnot? Uh... You know, amazing. I have a friend in Japan or uh, Hawaii. He's Japanese. Um, I was going through someone else. I wasn't happy with their look and whatnot. And like I said, it sits down. You got to get an idea. The idea got to reflect on how you are. Um, guys with a lot of flashy, you know, like psychosis, for instance, mm -hmm. when he wore the hood um, and, and the gear, like it was loud. You saw him. You recognized him off the bat. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a reflection of him. But it wasn't so much of a crossover from real life psychosis, the man behind the hood, and, and him in the ring. Uh, they they don't want to expose your personal life, but they pull out what they see, the parallels in the ring as opposed to you outside the ring. So that's the start of that design, and um, every mask got a story behind it. And I am not going to bore the shit out of everybody. Here. <laughs> no, we'll be here until no, next no. Tuesday if I go behind the why this is like it is. But. Um, it starts with that that idea, get that idea going. Then you start your research as to who you want to get it made by. And again, that you don't get it made by just anybody. At the time, I, I you know I really couldn't afford getting it made by somebody in Japan, somebody in Mexico. So I would I fished around and tried to get the idea down. You know, someone else just to start. Didn't like the way it was going. I eventually I, I met up when I was in Hawaii wrestling. When I was over there for the first time, I met up with a guy. Um, I got a I gotta give a shout out to my boy. His name's Chris Cavanaugh. He's a wrestler over in Hawaii. He wrestles for Action Zone Wrestling. That's who I wrestle for when I go over. 
he introduced me to the guy that makes masks for wrestlers for notable wrestlers mm -hmm. and um i he took measurements and then that was it he gave me a number you know a price and he and the turnaround's amazing and uh that was it just went from there and he's been making he's been making my masks since oh five so i go through him and they're not <laughs> <laughs> if you're willing to drop over 500 bucks for one, yeah. Yeah. then I'll give you his email address. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my discount. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Do you, so have, how do you have a lot of masks? Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, let me see. Yeah. I think I have five right now. So if you added five. that up for... Yeah, what is that? A grand, two a grand, 2,500 <laughs> bucks wow, I got invested yeah. right now. Yeah, wow. it's intense. And I'm getting... Uh, I got another two that I want to get made. So mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I got the scheme down with the trunks. Yeah. the shit ain't easy to get my trunks made by right. someone else. Oh, okay. Like, fuck, this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Gotta get the trunks made and then send them out to Hawaii it's so you can color... Yeah, yeah, so you can match okay, up the color uh -huh. schemes. And it's a pain, but... <laughs> Yeah, do you have fun. to? Have you ha ever had to replace any of your mask? Like, say your blue and yellow one here gets damaged in a match. Do you? Is it? Can he mend it, or do you have to get a whole new mask? I or? just send it back and say get a new one. It depends how it rips. I mean, even across the seams. I mean, you're just gonna tear the fabric all up, mm -hmm. and the vinyl's gonna get fucked. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not a car. You know, you can't take it in to get get yeah. the you know get an alignment. You know, the the shit done or the mm -hmm. new whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, it's like no, you're just getting a new one made. However. If that happens, he'll he'll charge me less. But you gotta send the one that's fucked up back, uh, so okay. he has proof <laughs> that got balled yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, you couldn't help this; it happened in a match. So, mm -hmm. now, how often does that happen? Is it really easy to to, to damage it? I uh, no, they're sturdy as hell. Okay. You could pull yeah. on them. Um, I could probably get fish hooked, awesome, and they're not gonna <laughs> rip. <laughs> um, uh, not that I ever had sex <laughs> with an <laughs> asshole, but I really, that's on the checklist, but, <laughs> but uh, 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 the material's constructed really well. He stitches and re-stitches and stitches again, so it's it's constructed really well. Um, so I have, to date, I've had none, none of my own masks ripped, actually ripped open or whatever when I was starting I used to wrestle in a great Sasuke mask that was my hero that's the guy I loved and I did have that ripped off that was the only time I ever had a mask ripped off uh, Sebastian Dark did turn my mask sideways once completely sideways and I couldn't see and he mm. hit me with my own finisher <laughs> fucking asshole <laughs> that still burns me three years later that still burns me motherfucker um. I apologize to Matt Mike for not asking this. He asked this much, much earlier, but I think it's rather appropriate now. Um, is there... Well, let me pull up. Uh, who is your favorite masked wrestler, and who would you like to have a mask versus mask match uh, with? Man, well, my favorite masked wrestler is uh, Great Sasuke. Mm -hmm. He's from Japan. He's been wrestling since as Great Sasuke since 1991, and I just... I love him. I emulate him. Tried to when I was starting. Um... That's my favorite mask guy. Mask versus mask. You know what? Oh, man. That would be intense. I like competition. I really like to see the gauge myself. But if I felt that I was ever at least close to this guy's level, like, mm -hmm. I would challenge him. I would love to I would love to go one-on-one -on -one with Ray, Ray Mysterio Jr. Because mm -hmm. he is one of my favorite guys, too. He's, he's like a top five hooded wrestler. Uh... I think I would like to see if I got that it. Would, that would be a good it. match. Thanks. That would, no, it really no, would. No, would, you, would you rather take on, like, n new, nowadays Rey Mysterio or, like, WCW Cruiserweight Day Mysterio? You know what? The WCW Cruiserweight days would have been easier to counter because he was much more in the air. He spent more yeah. time in the air mm -hmm. on the mat. Mm -hmm. His style now is so diverse. He's actually diversified his, his style. I mean, he's adapted really well with the bigger guys. Yeah. Maybe it was because he was getting his ass beat by, like, <clears throat> the Big Daddy Cool and shit like that in mm -hmm. WCW that, like, he felt that, okay, I got to adapt. He said, I'm not getting lawn tarted in the side of a trailer. Right. <laughs> and you know what? Let me tell you something bullshit about that. Some asshole ended up doing that to me on a fucking indie show, like, a month later. <laughs> I got fucking wrong. <laughs> I was like, I'm short enough, and he like knocked two more inches off. And I was pissed. <laughs> but I would say Rey Mysterio of now because mm -hmm. I feel that we're both like that's where our both of our um, careers have headed. 
less high flying. Yeah. High flying when we need it to win the match, but we're gonna bust out this other shit that hopefully you won't expect us to. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the robot, like <laughs> the robot, like the robot, right? Or the <laughs> did I do the lawnmower? I think uh, I think Sweeney did the lawnmower. I think he did. Yeah, because he did. I he think started he did doing the shopping, the shopping cart, cart, too. cart yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The sun. I'm telling you, I was dehydrated as <laughs> fuck. I didn't know where I was after that. I was asking the cameraman where I was. Speaking of the cameraman, um, I got a nice picture of uh, Tony F. <laughs> oh yeah, Tony I got, F. Pull up a chair, too. and he's sitting uh, there with uh -huh. the camera, drinking a Pepsi, just filming away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the most funniest thing ever. I'm That's like, way to go, Tony F. Was having a good time. Uh, <laughs> good old Tony. F. <laughs> but um, this kind of goes along the same, I guess. If you're, go we're gonna like keep asking like. Uh, ultimatums or have you ever's or will you ever whatever <laughs> I don't know alright I'm trying to say we give me dirty <laughs> fucking look sword Jesus Christ you I'm gonna smack you so hard your eyeballs are gonna switch hey, sockets hey if you wanna get here you should see what they're saying about you in the chat room yeah what <laughs> what? Oh God. Who's saying what they're saying a lot of shit uh, you want me to back up here a little bit now, ask your serious yeah, question and we'll get into it what uh what <laughs> what wrestling move would you like not want to get dealt would you not want to get hit with like a Canadian destroyer or what or anything along those lines and what the fuck are these people saying about <laughs> 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 Hold on, I'm back up here. He would know though. <laughs> he would know first. Yeah. You you want to share what they're saying? I, I know you got it up there. Missy. Uh, Missy, Missy, other. You want me to read these? Yeah, that'd be a hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a Marshall and a uh, a Norm and Connors. a Norm Connors. A Nor yeah, Norm oh, Connors. Man. Who's oh, not <laughs> Jimmy D? Uh, th thinks that you are hungry for hentai's crotch. Yeah, he's, he's wondering if hentai wears rubbers that have little masks on the tip, like <laughs> dudes. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? To answer that question, yes. <laughs> I actually, I will not fuck a guy unless I know him. And when I know him well enough, I just bareback it. Fuck it. We get tested, we're good. Marshall thinks mm. you should wear a bag over your head. So should we like think mask? twice about inviting you back on the show after that? Why? <laughs> Why? What are you, you saying? Know us, you know. Well, oh! <laughs> oh, dude. You think he's going to go for yeah. that, that little uh, notch on his checklist to uh, yeah. you know, do it with uh, the mask I'm going to, you know <laughs> what? Gonna try it. After I didn't have show. dudes. I didn't have dudes as the that, oh, was, that okay. wasn't my thought. Well, that could be two separate ones. Here's a hentai. Were you ever in a car where someone <laughs> threw fire at Joe Dombrowski? What's What's <laughs> 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 that? Jesus Christ! Norm Connors. <laughs> oh, Norm! I'm sorry, buddy. I was. Uh... <laughs> Ah. And we've got a follow-up question. He says that he'll take that as a yes. I'll, say, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that polyester is scary when it gets hit with fire. I'll tell you, <laughs> you right now. Wait, so is he always wearing a suit? <laughs> All, he's never out of a suit. Wow. <laughs> he's never out of, out of a suit, and I'm highly convinced. Well, I okay. I was going to say I'm highly convinced he never eats, but I take it back. Road trip over the weekend, I did see him eat a bag of chips. <laughs> so even wow. robots got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. Is that he, all they said about me? Andrew's supposed to ask Hentai about uh, what he likes to do when he goes to TGI Fridays. Who's asking that question? <laughs> That's Marshall. Marshall. <sighs> he would. I like, you know what? I like to get the appetizer, Marshall. I like to get the chicken pot stickers. <laughs> <laughs> that is an off air. <laughs> that is an off air answer that you'll understand, Hentai. What it's all about. I don't need to get this image that I'm some kind of wild man. I'm really not. Yeah, as you guys know, I'm all business in the ring, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, all business. But I'm not some kind of drinking lunatic maniac outside of it. I'm just really. I'm a cons like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep that one to myself. Moving yeah. on. Um, and and Matt Mike actually asks, Has Joe Dombrowski ever dropped the load on you, hentai? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, 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 vice versa. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, and I Whoa. Put a load on the yeah. uh, You know what? It was a misunderstanding. Joe just kicked in the bathroom door. I was sitting on the jaw of the magazine. It just launched. It was an accidental shooting. It was. It wasn't like he was sitting under me. Joe didn't mean to come in, guys. He didn't mean to come in. 
leave poor Joe alone. <laughs> the fucker was lit on... In the last month, he's been lit on fire, and he's lost his fucking AC adapter to charge himself in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the bitch alone. Joe's actually a really good guy. I, I do want to go on record and say that he's a really good guy. I don't know how you guys feel about his announcing or uh, commentating. Oh, I think he's, he's absolutely amazing. Yeah. He's, fun. Well, he's and, amazing. And his, his rap skill <laughs> is uh, phenomenal. Oh my god! He's you got, guys saw that? We uh, heard, heard a couple. Yeah, yeah, he he played him on the show from his phone. Oh, 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 oh wow, Joe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you, buddy. And he is. He's an amazing Joe announcer or uh, uh, MC loads. They're calling him. He uh, he dropped the load on um, uh, sexual harassment. On I the think show I think I want him to guest on my next album. <laughs> That's a good idea. We should have What was up with that? <laughs> called the song Dropping the Loads. Dropping yeah. Loads? <laughs> on the crap owl. <laughs> That's when I realized that <laughs> Chuck Roberts is profound in Taekwondo. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there was some serious ass whooping. <laughs> so, that was crying, or that was you crying? I was that not wasn't. crying. There was no cry. No, 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 no. That was the ring announcer crying. Okay, all right. He was livid. What's <laughs> the question up here? Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's catching up with the chat room right now. I really, yeah. I really, I really enjoy yeah. when we get to the point where the chat room runs the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Mad, uh, Mike, Mad, Mad, Mike, Mad Mike says now there will be weeks of speculation on what the pot stickers mean. <laughs> 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 we'll never tell. Alright, wh while people are reading the chat, Hentai, I'm going to put you on the spot. Thank I'm going to ask you a tough question here. Hit me. Uh, in including your trainees, your trainees and non trainees. In IWC as a whole, who do you think has the brightest future? Aside from yourself. Holy shit, that is a tough question. You know what? I see myself on the other end. You know how Shawn Michaels is sort of on the other end. It's not mm -hmm. like he's going, you know what I mean? But he's yeah. sort of, he's like that staple. He's just, you know, mm -hmm. he's done, he's pretty much done his shit. Yeah. That's right, you know, I've done my shit pretty much in IWC. Gotcha. Uh, holy moly. Man, you were asking... That mm -hmm. question is tough. I need a coin. <laughs> I really do. Oh man, I would love. To, I wish I could break us up between the trainees and the ones that are just there. I okay. I I really think. I think Jason Gory and Shima Zion both have very promising futures. Mm -hmm. um, they both have extremely promising futures. They they are obviously they, they mesh fantastic as a tag team mm -hmm. but I was in the ring with both of them um, and and Gory almost got the win on me and Shima did he did get the, he was the better man that night I it's t I would say they they have the, the most promising futures um, I can't really pull one ahead of the other they're both just so good mm -hmm. um, there's a, you know what that's that's the issue that's the issue though there's a lot of promising guys they're all in tag teams and I'm not telling them to get out of tag teams by any means. The tag team division is it, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a hotbed. But you know, I, when you're asking me as a whole, I, I mean, I when I think of this, I think of guys that are in tag teams. Mm -hmm. They're just so promising. Vendetta is a, a very impressive guy. I mean, he is. He's got the look. He's got the yeah. size, yeah. and he means business. He gives you a move, man. You're feeling it. But I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have to put Shima or, or, or Gory right up there. I can't I can't decipher one from the other. Mm -hmm. So now in that same vein, uh chest flexor. Great or great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna follow it up with that. Thank you, sir. Great greater greatest. <laughs> Greatest. We're all big chest flexor fans here. Greatest. <laughs> I wanna see the Slamborghini. Oh <laughs> man. You're only you're just we, gonna we, hear we've, rumors. We've about heard it. about we've this for over a year. It. Oh yeah, well mm -hmm. over. I mean a year. ever since we bought our signed piece of chest flexor signed pizza. Piece yeah. of chest flexor pizza from <laughs> Super Indy last year. He he signed Super Indy on a pizza slice. for last year, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. he bought a pizza and then he was selling the pizza signed at the back of him for a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you guys eat him? No, <laughs> they still have him. No, uh my my uh my roommate yeah, he still no, has it. Put this in. He no, no it's, it's, it's the petrified right the now. Trunk it's in the car. It sat it's in the trunk of his car. It sat in the trunk of his black car for well over eight months and petrified and freeze dried it pretty much. Mm -hmm. So uh, now it is a rock hard looking yeah. piece didn't, of pizza. Didn't you eat yours? 
Yeah, yeah I ate mine that like night. Three no, months later, no, or no that no, night I did. No, you <laughs> did, you took a big <laughs> chunk out of yours. Like, I took a big bite out of it and flung it into the river. Yeah, I threw it into the river. Yeah, that was the seagull sea. Way to show respect, the chest flexor. <laughs> I ate it. Like I consumed it. I made it nice. a piece of me. Wait, we got this this breaking news from the chat room. Uh, chest flexor, flexor apparently torture racked awesome calling backstage at Super Indie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't who let that cat out of the bag? With a w. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Norm, Norm Connors. Norm Connors. <laughs> Norm Connors dropping all the balls tonight. I can't believe it. <laughs> Norm doesn't drink. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> second, the revelations that he is the stuff he is spewing. I don't I can't believe he's I can't believe he's the, <laughs> and, and he, he said he he said he had to find him two grand for it. Yeah. For the record, that was he attempted. He actually had her off her feet. <laughs> Not in the actual rack. And there's speculation. You know, you're going to talk to some guys. They're going to say, yeah. <laughs> She was up in it. Other guys like myself, no, that does not count. We all know what a rack looks like, right? Yeah, it's, it's, just yeah. like, was, it's just like the Lex Luger hip toss with Yokozuna. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. She was not in that fucking rack. I'm sorry. And I cannot believe that Norm is exposing all this shit. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to say nothing wrong. I'm afraid that I'm going to catch hell. He says, like, I can drink as much as I want. I just can't eat certain food or I lose control of my bowel movements. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he shit all over his door handle <laughs> at one of the shows because he, he did. It. He, I, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm we, assuming it's an assumption, folks. We, we, we've assumption. heard speculation, I think. Yeah, we've, we've heard, heard about, about this. It. Okay, I'm assuming that he shit all over his door handles. <laughs> but he was so fucked up, like not fucked up, drunk. When he eats, there's certain things he can, he has a checklist of shit he can't eat. Because not only does it it rack his bowels, but it racks his mind. Like he gets ill, and you'll see he'll he'll turn a tinge of green, and that's it. If he starts once that 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 the floodgates open, he is shitting everywhere. That poor guy is shitting, and I feel extremely bad. And I think he shit on his door handles. <laughs> Some time ago, but again, that's speculation. I don't want to. I don't want to get carried away with that. <laughs> Man, my guess wasn't that the blue meeting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's a whole other animal. Yeah, we got that last that week. Yeah, yeah, that that's a whole other animal. Nobody shits in IWC without us knowing about it. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what kind of reputation that we have? <laughs> Jesus this Christ. Is true. It's your, it's your band. That's their fault. It's my band's influence. I'm Dude, sorry. We need to, we need to put that no. shit on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no one shits in IWC without, without us hearing about it. Us knowing about it, yeah. Oh, man. All right, speaking of IWC, is that like... <laughs> oh, we, okay, get this back to wrestling. Thank okay? you. Bring us back <laughs> yeah. serious. All right, yeah. So, um, no more, yeah. <laughs> is that, was that where you got your start? or? Um, no. So how long have you been with IWC then? Please? I've been with IWC since 2001. Okay. 2001. Uh, that came from... There was a rift... Uh, Quick history. Um, I was in a place called Penn Atlantic Wrestling. Okay. They were there. They were around shortly. Uh, well, after I started, shortly after I started, they they, they folded. But I was there mm -hmm. from uh, fall of '98 till it was February of '99. I want to say, and then I ended up going eventually going with PWX, which was a that it, it was their like training organization okay. which was PWL. I was mm -hmm. with them for a while. Eventually melded into PWX. Uh, some shit went down. Turned uh, Norm said, right. you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up doing this. And I wanna give Bubba the Bulldog credit too. Uh, right. he also mm -hmm. helped start mm -hmm. that. Yeah we interviewed um, him yeah, a while ago and he gave us a brief history Yeah of definitely he oh Christ I just bored everybody in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, 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 so, and, but Remedy couldn't stop marking out for him for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I, I admit I eat at his bar at least three times a week. By eat at his bar, he means eat at his bar. <laughs> <laughs> so they, uh, so, um, oh, dude, what are you pulling out? So to, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so Bubba and Norm helped start IWC. Okay. That was in March of, I want to say, 01, and then mm -hmm. that was it. Um, there's been, I don't know how much. How much work Norm you and Bubba still do? I think it's yeah. it's pretty much all Norm now, but uh, it you definitely got to you definitely got to put Norm in there. It's getting the start, but it was 01. So, so you've been in there pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the the ground yeah. guys, and nice. so yeah. Very cool. 
Yeah, I'm a member of the Bubba's Uglies Lunch Club. Yeah, he has like all these thumbs up stamps. Yeah, yeah. And you buy seven lunches and, and you get one free. <laughs> you know what? I did. Um, I have coupons off Restaurant.com for Ugly. I just haven't used them yet, but I love the goddamn they, cheese quesadillas. Did you they're have? They're fucking awesome. Oh, down there, yeah. Smoking. The food's so really good. fucking good, though. Guys, yeah, everybody, listen seriously. Not because I know Bubba and I like him. No, he, his bar has some really good food. And some hot, really good food. And some hot waitresses. Yeah, really I haven't been down in a year. Oh yeah, there's some. There's well, apparently some, some hot waitresses. It depends on what time of day you go. Okay, it all depends on the time frame. But listen, go down there and try out his food. Fuck's sake, it's good shit. It is good shit. I was gonna ask him, but I forgot. No, no that's yeah. son where were we going Matt, with this? Do you have Do you have your epic question so, for Super Anti yet? Silent Ninja. No, not yet. Right, I you have to have filler. something. I got okay. Right. <laughs> so, um, what is like some so of your favorite favorite time. IBC moments or like <sighs> moments or events that really stand out to you? Um, <laughs> one of them, of course, I'm gonna have to put myself in this. Okay. One of them is. Uh, <laughs> Is when I turned on Norm was, and the whole exactly company. That's exactly what just came to my mind because that was one of the first shows I was at. That was fantastic. That, that, is, that and, uh, is pre mayhem. So yeah, that, that was. was yeah, us. I just remember that whole thing because that was your retirement yeah, ceremony. Yeah. And see, and me still being super new to everything, I was like, oh, this guy, you know, he's retiring, <laughs> and I wouldn't have seen anything coming, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was. It was great. It Norm, was. Norm coming out and. Hugging me, uh -huh. and I'm like, this motherfucker's gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck him up. Was this televised? Yeah, because the show was back then. Yeah, that was on. Ignition. That was the yeah. first time before I even knew any of these guys. That was the first time I saw you. I was flipping through TV, and I saw a random wrestling on. I forget I watch mm -hmm. it, and I remember that it was a guy named Hentai, and he was retiring. Yeah, and then he turned on him. That's right. Like, yeah, because when we went to IWC, he kept asking me. He was like, "I thought this guy retired. Is this the same guy and yeah, everything?" I, I I'm like, "Remember, I vaguely, vaguely remember seeing this shit on TV randomly before I, I, I knew. Before I knew any of you guys, before I, you know, knew who you were or anything like that." Yeah, it was fun. That's what, what made it even better that everyone could see me beating his ass. <laughs> <laughs> see him play like he didn't even know. Storm, I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you, uh, um, I really, really enjoyed, uh, I'm gonna group these all as a whole, I really, really enjoyed the Super Indie Tournaments. Okay. It just, you Those talk are. about some great talent in the ring, mm -hmm. there's just some amazing shit oh, yeah. going on. Uh, War Games, really enjoyed War Games, although I somehow ended up on the floor. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> like, between the two rings? <laughs> I got fucked. No, right out of the ring. Like, I was... I don't know where I was even going, and we ended up... I think uh, Abyss chucked someone into the cage, and mm -hmm. myself, and I'm gonna say Troy Lords, we went flying to the floor. That sucked. <laughs> and, um... I'm trying to think. I mean, there's just so much shit. There's just been so much good stuff yeah. that IWC has done. Just yeah, amazing yeah, stuff. Yeah. That last tag match where... Uh, sexual harassment had with Babyface Fire when they didn't win the belts. Mm. Where mm -hmm. you know yeah. that match mm -hmm. was that, just, was that match was really really good. Excellent. It really was. It really I I really thought we we're gonna see new tag champs and that. Yeah. You know. Uh, but I yeah, think just a lot of people did. Yeah, just amazing. Just so much stuff. But those are some things. Some notable things. Mm -hmm. so. I remember seeing uh, hentai in a politician's commercial. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too long ago. Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I re you remember that yeah. story. The video is a politician's commercial, and there was just a bunch of wrestling going on in the background. And I remember oh, Hentai yeah. being in there. Yeah, I, was. I think uh, SJK was in it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shirley Doe and mm -hmm. John Bowen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were all in it. Uh -huh. I ended up locking back up with Sterling James. We were rolling across the ropes at the end of that commercial, and yeah. Bowen took a fucking five knuckle sandwich <laughs> from from uh, politician. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, and it really wasn't that relevant because I'm no politician. That's Chuck lost. Roberts. Pretty sure you lost. Anyway. But um, he did. It was uh, Rick Santorum. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. That actually kind of yeah. surprised me. Yeah. yeah. I'm no big politician, so. So, I don't know so how did that come about? Uh, I actually, Shirley Doe got that set up. Mm -hmm. Um. Shirley Doe has a unique look. You're either gonna think he's in a band. Uh huh. Or he's doing something else fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, I gotta know that guy's story. Mm -hmm. it's, and a, it's always interesting to see him <laughs> elsewhere. 
Yeah. Like downtown, yeah. downtown yeah. all dressed <laughs> up and everything. Oh, yeah. Right, because <laughs> he, awkward. talk about not even, I mean, he totally doesn't even look. Mm -hmm. Like, it's goofy. Like, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. But he's a wild man, and he just has that look that will attract track people. Well, I believe somebody in Rick Santorum's camp was, uh, was there was some kind of meeting or something or other, uh, and, and, and Doe was in the vicinity. One thing led to another, and thanks to Doe, it ended up Rick Santorum was like, I like this. It's a change. Let's do it. Let's see what yeah. we can do. So, uh, yeah, set it up at court time and just went from there. That was wild. I was actually at court time. Yeah. Wow. They set up the rig, the lighting rig. Like, they brought in everything. Oh, yeah. We, they, I don't even know. I think they even set up the ring for us. So it was wild. <laughs> so go ahead. Nice. Get, get old Ricky Santorum and that motherfucker. And have him set up them rope. Tighten them ropes, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of the ring set up at court time, um, what do you think of the whole new setup? Like, is it a whole different atmosphere to wrestling there now? Oh, doing yeah. The whole, and everything? Yeah. It, I mean, it brings a more, it more, brings a more intimate atmosphere, like, uh, like, back in the '80s and the territories and yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. But um, it brings a more professional atmosphere all at the same time. I mean, you got the lights focused just on the ring. Right. And that that's a, it gets me more amped up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it does with all the guys. That's so cool. that's good. I don't know yeah, what the I'm fans think. I, yeah, I'm still not really like. I don't know. I don't like it as much. Really? As when it was all light. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. And like, well, just for like me trying to take my own pictures and stuff, it's just not, you know, as as bright or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, I like the, if it works better for you guys, then, right on. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Then I'm down. I'm a huge fan of the guardrail. Mm -hmm. Guardrails are good. Whenever I started I, coming I to the IWC yeah. shows and there was no guardrail, I was really skeptical. Cause I'm like, why is there no like mm -hmm. protection always... at all? Uh, it was it yeah, was good. The first night, put up the guardrails and this uh, uh, Ricky, not Ricky Reyes, um, uh, Davey Richards. Davey Richards. First Miss out of the ring. Right in the guardrail. <laughs> right on some yeah, guy's lap. Oh wait, Layla Moose. Yeah. 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 yeah that was Very intense. first dive with the guardrails in place. Goes right over them and into some guy's lap. <laughs> yeah, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, Davey I was skeptical about those too, about guardrails. I didn't want them at first, but yeah, I like them. It's a little tougher. You have to really aim your dives a lot better. Right, you don't want to. Be that one guy uh, best around when they yeah. were first in. He smacked his leg right off mm -hmm. the guardrail. I like them because they keep feel bad in check. <laughs> 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 they keep everybody in check. They're like little kids that just want to get as close as they can. Yeah, because I know, like even at like Night of Legends, get it gets pretty bad with the kids. Yeah. Does that piss you off? What's whenever, that? like during intermission or whatever. And like, if you were to look out there and you see little kids crawling all over the ring, or like crawling, oh, that'd be terrible. Every... Yeah, that's actually a liability. I mean, that's mm -hmm. you well, can get some deep Wrestle, shit. WrestleFest, a bunch yeah, of kids got in, and, and, and my wife actually went over to uh, Marcus. Marcus, a couple, because the kids are in your ring. Yeah, <laughs> that's not that's a liability. They get yeah, hurt. That's in your ring. They didn't sign anything in the back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They can't clear them, and that that's yeah, that's bad. I don't. That's that worries me more than pisses me off. I mean, kids. You know, you're learning. You're a kid, so you're growing up. You're learning shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you don't understand what kind of mm -hmm. level of respect that takes right. to get in the oh, ring. Yeah. yeah. You just want to get in. Yeah. Fuck mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, just drawing in there, it's like, man, you're going to get... If you get fucked up, then that means there's no more fucking shows. Right. Mm -hmm. So, thanks. 